This video will demonstrate how to test drugs using nitazine test strips. Nitazines are powerful synthetic opioids that can increase the risk of an overdose which have been found in powder such as heroin and illicit supplies of tablets. Because it has no taste or smell, it is difficult to tell if a particular drug contains nitazine. Nitazine test strips are an affordable and easy-to-use screening tool that can be used to test street drugs. A drug in a pill form will first need to be crushed into a fine powder. To prepare a pill for testing, place the entire pill in some foil, fold the foil using the back of a hard object and crush the pill into a fine powder. Remove some of the powder using something like a tip of a key to scoop out the powder. You will need 10 mg of fine powder, for a visual reference. 10 mg is enough of the drug to cover the top of a syringe barrel. Testing powder such as heroin, measure out 10 mg of powder. For testing purposes as shown in the previous method use a key to measure out 10 mg. Add the powder to the cooker, and then slowly add 2 and a half milliliters of water to the container which is half of a bottle of 5 milliliters water for injection. Remove the test strip, holding the strip on the collared end where NTZ is written. Make sure you don't touch the white section of the strip. Place the wavy side down into the container with the drugs. Leave the nitazine test strip sit for 15 seconds in the water. After the 15 seconds, remove the test strip and place it on a flat surface for 1 minute, and then check the results. This is an example of a positive test as the strip is showing one line, this means that nitazine has been detected. This is an example of a negative test. This means that nitazine has not been detected. Please remember, no test is 100% accurate and the drugs may still contain a synthetic opioid or other drugs. The third result could be an invalid test. If you see an invalid test result, please retest the drugs with a new nitazine test strip. Without testing them again, there is no way of knowing if the drugs have nitazine in them. Despite the results of the nitazine tests, everyone should follow overdose and harm reduction advice.